We have tried dog food. We have tried sardines. And nothing has caught this raccoon. This raccoon is literally driving me crazy, you guys. It walked right off the back of the boat and onto my barbecue grill last night, which is right underneath my kitchen window, and it was shaking its booty at me. It is literally taunting me at this point. I mean, look at me, I'm a mess, I haven't even shaved. This thing is literally taking over my life right now. It's all I can think about. So we've gotta get this thing caught. Be sure to smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell because I will be uploading all the videos that have to do with this boat going forward. We are going to be covering how the insurance company handles this situation because I do have full coverage on the boat. And of course, we will be uploading videos on the entire rebuild process. So you're gonna wanna see that. Which leads me to a question for you guys. Do you think I should change the name of this channel to Mile High DIY? Originally, I had wanted to do camping vlogs, but the channel has just kind of swung the direction of DIY and project videos. So let me know what you think. Should I do two separate channels or just continue doing this channel as it is, just change the name to Mile High DIY? Let me know. Really curious what you guys think. All right, let's go try to catch the stinking raccoon. Okay guys, tonight's setup. We've got one trap here with the sardines and a marshmallow. It's right next to my grill. Then I've thrown out a couple pieces of marshmallow and actually a couple pieces of hamburger meat and I threw it out on the cover hoping to bring it this direction. And then uh, still got the oil and even some syrup on the ground now. And that goes out to the second trap that I've got set. And this has the marshmallow uh, maple syrup medley. So hopefully this will be good enough. We do have the backup plan if necessary. But hopefully we get him today. As you can see, we got him. He went for the sweets. 